I'll be explaining step by step how you, how you can connect the joystick to your computer, load it in Simulink, and make sure that you select each joystick axis. So a joystick comes with controls such as yaw, pitch, and roll. And I'll be showing you guys how you can map the, the movements of your joystick to a signal in Simulink, which you can then use to control any system of your choice. So here I have a joystick setup. It is a USB connection to my laptop. So this joystick is a simple one. It is a Logitech Freedom 2.4. The rolling motion is front to back, pitches from side to side, and yaw is twist. And there's also a speed controller, as you can see at the bottom. So it is quite a simple joystick. It connects to the receiver shown at the back here. And that receiver joins my laptop via a USB port. So the first thing you want to do is go in your MATLAB and type in Simulink as I've done before here. And that opens the Simulink window, the browser. Now go in the search bar you can see there and type in joystick and then click the magnifying glass. It opens the options you have available here. So the bottom one, Simulink animation is used for animating stuff in MATLAB. The difference is that in the system link animation toolbox joystick block you need to specify which axis corresponds to your pitch and roll but in the matlab one on top the pilot joystick it's, it's already give, given to you it's specified for you so it is quite similar they both are compatible with the usb joystick but in one case you will need to specify i would say go with the bottom one for a matlab animation because you want to use the one which is most compatible not all joysticks will support the bottom block and yeah so the first thing you want to do is drag your joystick block from your Simulink library browser into the MATLAB workspace. So sorry, the, the Simulink workspace. And it should have this thing here. The next thing you want to do is take the axis selector. So what this does is select the axis, as I said before, the yaw, pitch, and roll. Or you can also select all of them and then use a demux block to break it up. So now this block I cannot find in the browser, but there is an inbuilt MATLAB example which has this block. To access that example, you want to go here and type in VR crane underscore joystick. It should open up this block diagram. Now this is a MATLAB example. It should come installed with MATLAB itself. It should be there for most of my MATLAB installations. And then you want to go here where it says joystick. And you want to copy this block and paste it in the MATLAB block which you have. Now the block here, it is configured a bit differently. If I double click, it should say 1 input dimensions and then 1, 3 and 2. And the port says 8. There, there are 8 selections you can choose from a joystick. So I'm going to press OK. I will exit from this one here. And I will open up mine. Now in this case, I have left it all the same. But now I have 4 elements here. Now what this means is 1 corresponds to so these ones here, they correspond to roll, pitch, and yaw, and 4 is your speed control, okay? And you have in total 8 DOF. So I will press OK. And next, and the next thing I will show you is how you can use either yaw, pitch, or rolling motion to control an object in the MATLAB animation toolbox. The next thing I will show you guys is how you can map the signal to animation block. Now, if, if you don't know how to use your Simulink animation, please watch the video I made before on the basics of making a VRML world and connecting an object which, which can be made in a CAD software in Simulink. So as a quick review, I will show you my block diagram with a simple block diagram here. So it has your joystick block, which is built in, your axis, which is, comes with the MATLAB example, your DMUX. So what this is saying is I'm breaking up these so your pitch roll and speed separately and then just choosing any one of them into your expander. I explained what this is in my old video so please watch that if you don't understand what this does. And I want to move it in the Y so basically so what I want to do is I want to map the joystick speed, sorry no the joystick motions to the Y axis in your MATLAB animation. So this means X, Y and Z and this number here is just choosing the Y. Again, I explained this in my old video, so please watch that. And 
I've mapped it to your VR sync and have a simple scope here. Hey everyone, so now it's some live action time. <laughs> so here I have my Jarsky set up. I'll make the speed zero. And here is my model. So now I will map the axis one by one and let's see what happens. So I've mapped that. I will open the animation. And let's check it out. So I'm moving it in rolling motion. And you see it's moving down and up there. You can see that. See, see that? Like it's it's sensitive. So if I move back, it's quite sensitive there. To even yaw and pitch and stuff like that. But it's mostly a roll because the roll generates the most motion. If I try pitch, it'll not be as much. But then that there is some sideways motion as well, as you can see there. So I'm going to stop that and move on to the next one. So what I will do is go here and try this with this one here and rerun the simulation. Press play. Now it should be the pitching motion. So that creates the most motion as you can see. This time roll will not be as much because, but it is there because it's sensitive, right? So even a small joystick input will result in a large motion. So this case I have pitch, it is quite there. So, so, so that means this axis selection corresponds to your pitch motion, which is up and down. And keep in mind that I, I mapped everything to Y. So it will, so, so, so no matter which way I do it, it'll, it'll always move in the Y plane and not the X or Z plane. And recall that. In MATLAB animation, Y is positive up. Okay, so I'm going to close that. I'm going to try... Oh, can you stop this first? So I'm going to close this. I'm going to map the next one. And let's see what happens here. So now, if I do... Okay, so... See that there? See that? So now it's your yaw. So, so now yaw is causing the most motion. So now, so so now you see it's all the way down there because the joystick calibration is off. So you see that? You see when we did, did the roll and pitch motion, it was not off the the, the midpoint here. It was like so, somewhere in this region. But when it comes to yaw, it's all the way down there. It's because the joystick calibration is off, right? So so this can be an excellent tool to see how your joystick calibration is, and you you, you can make a small nice control system to fix that. So it is a good exercise for you guys. So now this demonstrates that the yaw, yaw motion is the most. And yeah. And now let's move on to your last one. So I will delete the yaw and move on to your speed. Which I said was 4 before. So the number 4 is your speed. Okay. And press play again. Oh. Let me just fix that guys. So press play. And I'm going to drag it here again. And I'm going to press play. So now I'm, I'm, I have zero speed, so let's see. Oh. Can I see that? So I'm seeing the speed and it's moving there. Now this time, okay, so I'll move the speed down here. So the speed is zero and it's, it's moving. And I said before, it's all in Y. So it'll always move in the Y direction here. And... See, see, now if, if I try and move it in your pitch and roll, it'll not move because I did not select the axis. I just chose your speed, which is number four in the VR expander. So that's just your speed, right? So so that tells you that you've made the right choice since I moved this here and then it doesn't do anything. So yeah, that's it for this one, guys. Thank you everyone very much for watching this video. I hope you guys learned a lot. I see a lot of people on forums and on YouTube comments Based on MATLAB, they, they complain that they cannot use a joystick because it's not compatible and so on and so forth. But from this procedure, which I just showed you guys, it is quite simple to use a MATLAB. Sorry, it is quite simple to use a joystick in MATLAB. And I hope, hope you guys took something from this video. If you have any questions or so on, leave a comment below. In my next video, I'll be showing you guys how you can import a CAD assembly in the Simulink model because last time we just used a single part so it's a bit it's a little different and that's it for now guys thank you for watching take care bye bye